Hey, thanks for tuning into channel. Peace if you can find it. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm going to, um, oh, I want to share this real quick. It was a beautiful butterfly on the window here. And it was there for some time. And then I said, who are you? Is that you, Selena? And then I said, oh, no, don't do that. Uh-uh. I don't know. And some may disagree with me, but I said that to say this. I am keeping uh, my dogs uh, from the south. Uh, these are my grand dogs. And I swear somebody is in his eyes, especially the boy dog, somebody in there. When you look into his eyes and he just look right into your eyes and they brownish and they kind of slant and he just looks at you. And you could talk to him and tell him everything. And it's like somebody is in there. But I don't believe that because I don't know. And I have to say that I don't know where our loved ones go. I have to be truthful. And I don't want to speculate and guess and believe anymore. If I don't know it, I just say I don't know. But I swear somebody is in it, but I don't know. But I want to real briefly talk about this. This is interesting to me and perhaps it is to you. I'm not as important as some people are and may need to know this more so than me. How to completely disappear online and never be found again. He said, number one, I'm gonna leave the, uh, the video, it's, it's a short one, in the description below. Delete your Google, FB, Instagram, and home address. And they have it on Google, you type in your name, and when your information, your name, and all this information about you come up, there are three dots there on the right hand side. Click that, and see where is it coming from and if it's true or not. And then you can uh, request to have it removed. And they'll do it if they can. And if they can't, they'll tell you to contact whoever put your name on there in the first place. So I like it. I have cleaned it up. I like that. So that's interesting. That's number one. Number two, he said, put in the wrong address. Uh, on purpose. Uh, this is if people are stalking you. You have some people with some YT channels. And some individuals don't like them. You have a lot of individuals on IG. What is it? IG? I don't know if TT is still out there. But stalkers. And then people. Stalkers. You have all kind of people. I mean pedophiles and everything. Stalking you. That's why they say don't put your baby's pictures on there. And all of that. Uh, but. Put the wrong address on there on purpose. Okay? Delete your browser and your Google search frequently. Your cache in your mobile. But what you going to do if you're hooking up your mobile to your automobile? Because everything that you speak verbatim and texting, the company that owns that um, automobile, they have that information. So... People are committing crimes and then speaking on the uh, the mobile that's connected to the car of what they're going to do, where they're going to do, and then they'll make a, uh, they have you on video going into these stores, getting everything, shovels, lime, knives, hatchets. They following you. So he said, um, but you can't stop that. But if you're doing anything on your uh, car, they got you. But delete your browser and Google search often. Okay. YT needed for review. I can't re delete my history because I need to know. That's all I'm on is I, uh, YT. My mind can't go everywhere. And to me, YT got everything I need. I don't have to deal with the TV no more. I don't need IG. I don't, Facebook don't want me no more. So I don't have to deal with them. I never did like TT and IG. So YT is my thing. So I can't delete my history because <laughs> that's my world. Everything is there. But 
anywhere else that you could delete your history, do so. Uh, consider if you need all those email addresses that you have, if you may have so. I know you need a backup email address. Consider if you need all those Facebook pages. And clean that up often. I do that often. I'm down to, uh, what is it? I got 80 friends now, and I, I do a thorough search. I just I just don't want no foolishness. I, you can set it up just the way you want to. People say, I don't like Facebook because it's this and that. And that reason, I say, you can fix it just the way you want to. They got it. It's amazing what, it, what that, what that uh, Facebook and all these search engines can do. So you know they can find children. <laughs> you know they can get rid of the homeless and the drugs. They could do it. Because this mobile can do anything like instant grits. That's an old saying. It could do anything. And I don't know how I got off to that. But never use your uh, real security question. And... If you're trying to uh, open up a bank account, their security question will ask you. It asks me, what car you drove in 1972? Now, how would the bank know that? But I guess the bank is using a, a company that, that, that knows all this information about you. But if you old like me, turn 70 June the 20th. If you're old like me, it's too late to do that. But this is for young people, uh, husband, wife just starting out. Um, give false security questions and you and her only know those questions because I couldn't remember if, what the wrong question would be, wrong answer would be. Too late for me to play games, shit. Um, too late for me to even be asking for credit. Or open up anything now. I'm trying to work my way out of here. That's why this is so interesting to me. He said, number three, use a private email service. And he named two of them. And one is ProtoMail. P-R-O-T-O-N-M-A-I-L. And the second one is MailFence. M-A-I-L-F-E-N-C-E. He said, um... Disclaimer, send it. It's basic, but you can upgrade, but I don't know. I don't know. The, the, you know what? The government may can find you. Hackers may not, but that's not true because hackers are the government, right? And the government are hackers, right? Am I saying that right? Are they both the one and the same? So the government can find you, but the hackers can't, or the hackers can find you, but the government can't. Um, if you're looking for real sensitive information, but if, if anyone is sending you something, they're going to always have a disclaimer anyway. If a bank is sending you something, they're going to have a disclaimer anyway. And this is long, my goodness. And number four, this is the last one. I mean, this is too long. He said, use a VPN, which is a virtual private network. When you're surfing, um, it'll squabble your information if you're at the airport or at on an airplane or at a hotel or starbucks don't use their wi-fi he said if you are not using vpn to secure and decrypt data you can get hacked and i appreciate you listening thank you for listening i do appreciate it like share leave a comment subscribe and that's for you big timers but i like i said i'm try, i want to disappear i really want to disappear I don't like this place. It's not welcoming. It's not loving. It's not kind to animals. It's not kind to people. And I was speaking of the, 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 the beautiful dog this morning, looking into their eyes. And people just want to wipe them out for sport and take a picture and cut off their head and put it on their wall. <sighs> this is a hostile planet. It is. I don't agree with it. It doesn't agree with me. I don't feel welcome. I don't feel the same. I don't feel it. It is not home. I used to say that when I was in, the, in, in walking in the church, but I really understand it now. Truly, this is a ugly place. When you take off Jesus glasses and open up your eyes and see. 
and listen to the real independent news journalists. Like I said, if you need me to help you with some channels, I can do so. And this, it'll help you to wake up and smell the coffee and to know that the fat lady is singing her ass off. Okay, and I'm going to end. Okay? <laughs> Thanks for looking in again, listening. Like, share, leave a comment, subscribe. I keep forgetting to ask you guys to do that in the middle of the video. And I always be trying to keep it down to five minutes, so I failed. But at least halfway, you know if you like it or not. And like I told YT, I keep telling them, and I hope they get the message, that that's a like. Everybody ain't got to click that like button. I done liked about 20, maybe 10,000 since 2009 I've been on here or however it's been open. How many likes do you know that column will be blasted? You got to clear it sometime. You can't like everything because then you'll be sending you everything shit that you liked 50 years ago. When it first opened, you progress. I mean, you grow. Things that I was looking at last year, I don't look at now or listen to because you you grow. And these, these channels are growing. And I'm looking at how everybody is changing, going with the flow. And they making money because this is their job. And they never get no rest, day or night. They always think it because this is their income. And they going with the flow because when this incident happened over there, well, you know what I'm talking about. They were crying and tears and everything. And now everything is just, it's like they just laughing and going with the next story. How they can move us along like sheep, like cattle on a herd. We're just moving along. They got our minds where they could just move us along, even on social media. Independent journalism station. They change it. Because didn't we forget about Palestine? Didn't we forget about Hawaii and how Rock and uh, uh, what is it, Oprah were trying to take us for a ride? How we forgot about this and that and trials and, and did we just moving right along? They keep throwing all this stuff at us and now they got another circus act. And I'm going to tell you to look at this movie. It's called Wag the Dog. But anyway. Now they got something else going on, and we're moving right along. Everybody just talking about this now, and, and they're still making money. Open up two and three channels and getting big bucks on each channel, talking about the same stuff. Got their nepotism and cronyism going on. This is corrupt, too. It's, it's a racket, too, okay, as far as I'm concerned. And I'm, I'm going to end this is way too long. <laughs> hey, I don't get started. But thanks for tuning in again, okay?